How about we paint some track? I'm going to show you how I set up for painting. Now, a lot of times you see me, I'll make something and I will spray it with Rust-Oleum dark brown camouflage and then I'll sand it and I'll ox guard it. But when it's, once it's in place and it's time to, to uh, paint it and, and detail it, what I got here is my wet palette, which is a piece of baking parchment on top of four layers of paper towels and some distilled water. So I can put my paint on here, and when I'm done painting, I put the top on it, and I can resume later. Paint stays good. Got two brushes. Got a little paper towel folded in half. 91% and distilled water with a tiny bit of dish soap. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to paint this section. Let's zoom in on that guy a little bit. Okay, now these are just craft paints. And I am using pavement and burnt umber. So I got them on the wet palette and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get, get a little water on the brush. I got the small one for track. Let's zoom out a little bit. Okay. Got the small one for track. Got a little water on it. Okay, I'm going to go into my wet palette over here, which I want you to see the track, but uh, you got to see what I'm doing. I'm going to wet palette over here. I'm going to get some paint on my brush. A little bit like that. And now, let's zoom in. I've already done one coat on the side. It looks, <laughs> from that camera angle, the track does not look super shiny. If I was to change it, that track is super shiny. See? We've already wiped Oxgard on it once on the top. But what I want to do is I want to paint the sides and I want to paint the ties. So I got some paint on here. And I go ahead and I can just paint along the rail. It takes several coats to get it right. Because you need one coat to act as a primer. And then the second coat will come in and start to uh, fill it in. And as long as I'm down here, I like to put a coat on, like, the nails, sometimes on the ties, a little bit of this brown, and just act as a tiny bit of primer. And on the wood ties that I make, I make myself, cut my own wood ties. That way I don't have to worry about having too many. I just get some get some on there. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Let's just get it on there. It'll act as a primer. And then we will have something to stick to. Close enough. Now I've already got the outside looking pretty good here. Maybe we want to hit it again a little bit. Mm-hmm. Gives it a kind of nice brown rail. Going in. I'm not doing the back side of them because you can't see those. Okay, now let's zoom out a little bit again. Okay. So I've already done all that. Now, I'm going to take the other brush. It's a little bit bigger. Got some <laughs> pavement on the wet palette here. And this is kind of my tie color. Mainly as a, it's it's kind of like a primer, and it's going to let me uh, come back later, and when I start to really get into detailing the track, I'll have this coating on there. And it's pretty easy, as long as i got my wet palette right here, um, it's fairly easy do these and so it'll take more than one coat for some of them get on the rail and wipe it off that first coat 
will make it easier to paint over additional coats. the uh, copper clad PC boards that need an initial kind of a wiping of the paint on there because they're so slippery. The wood ties however they'll take it pretty good. And the wood ties I make them out of uh, oh, some kind of super thin plywood just get it on Amazon make tons of ties out of one sheet okay so it only takes a couple seconds for this thing to set up pretty good now it's starting to look pretty decent so as soon as it's uh, looking dry when I come back now the paint goes on nice It goes on real nice now. And I just have this wet palette here and I keep on my track cart. There's a track cart. Okay, it's got a bunch of stuff on it that I use for track work. It's a rolling cart. Got the craft store. And then when I'm not using it, it fits under the layout. Because on wheels and I like to have everything under my layout is on wheels no storage that is not on wheels for me to roll out and that was an important feature that I that I was determined to incorporate into this layout is that I wanted to be able to pull everything out oh what are we looking at there supposed to be looking over here all right so that's pretty good. Let's zoom in on it. That ought to about do it. If we can figure it out. Aha! Uh -huh. There, now let's zoom in on it. Looks good. Good enough. It matches. Okay, now I am ready to finish up by wiping on OxGuard uh, down here where we did a little work a little while ago. And then, tracks back in service and ready to roll. So that's it. Paint and track. That's all you gotta do. Wet palette.